In the previous video, we described waves using their wavelength, lambda, which is the distance between crests. Their frequency, f, is how many waves the source makes per second, and is the same as the number of waves that pass by a point each second. The speed, v, is how fast each wave crest moves. It's also the distance each crest moves per second. The cool thing is that we can now use the frequency and wavelength to work out the speed of the wave. Here's how. Let's choose a wave with a 2 Hz frequency and a 3 meter wavelength. Speed means distance divided by time. So the easiest method is to see how far the wave travels in one second. Then the speed will be that distance per second. How many wavelengths will it travel in a second? Let's see. That was one second. Let's try it again. The wave moved two wavelengths in one second. That makes sense because two hertz means two waves per second. So the wave must have moved ahead by two wavelengths. Each wavelength is 3 metres long, so it travelled 6 metres altogether. The speed must be 6 metres divided by 1 second, or 6 metres per second. Notice that the frequency 2 Hz multiplied by the wavelength 3 metres also gives the same answer. Six. Is this a coincidence? Maybe not, because in one second, all waves must move a distance of the number of waves made, which is their frequency, times the length of each wave, which is their wavelength, equaling their speed. In this case, we got the right numerical answer for speed, 6. But how can hertz multiplied by meters give meters per second? Remember, frequency in hertz means the number of waves per second. And wavelength is how many metres long is each wave. Or metres per wave. Well, the 2 times 3 gives 6. Now look at the units. The waves on the top can cancel with the waves on the bottom leaving only metres on the top and seconds on the bottom, or metres per second. So when we multiply the frequency in hertz by the wavelength in metres, we do get the speed in metres per second. Sweet. But this is just one example. Would multiplying frequency and wavelength work for other waves too? Let's try a frequency of 3 Hz and a wavelength of 4 meters. How far will the wave crests move in one second this time? Well, 
3 hertz means that there will be 3 waves and each will be 4 meters long. So 12 meters altogether. So the speed must be 12 meters divided by 1 second or 12 meters per second. But we could have skipped to the answer by just multiplying the frequency by the wavelength. 3 hertz by 4 meters. It worked again. But what if we had chosen a time period of 2 seconds instead? Wouldn't that change our answers? Let's see. The frequency is 3 waves per second. So in 2 seconds, 6 waves will be made. Each 4 metres long. The crests move 24 metres in 2 seconds. Or 12 metres per second. Same answer. Even though we doubled the time, we also doubled the distance that the wave travelled. So their ratio, which is the speed, stays the same. Multiplying the frequency by the wavelength always gives us the speed of a wave. Whether it's a water wave, sound wave, or light wave. The equal sign tells us that this is an equation, and because it works for all waves, it's called the wave equation, not surprisingly. Let's simplify the variables back to their letters, or symbols, again. V equals F lambda. The wave equation. The next video will apply the wave equation to a sound wave and to a radio wave. The wave equation helped get us to the moon.